So far we have been looking at what pointers store, that is uh, what address the pointer is pointing to. So this is not very useful until we know how to get the value of the variable that the pointer is pointing to. So the process of getting the stored value to the variable that the pointer is pointing to is called dereferencing the pointer. So this is achieved using the dereference operator which is this asterisk operator. So if we have one variable int a equal to 10 and we have another pointer to integer which stores the address of a. So a is here which is storing 10 and it is at address 100 and there is a PTR which is storing this address that is 100 so it's pointing to this variable and this is at address let's say 300 so how if we are given this pointer a PTR how can we get this stored value so we can do this using so let's say I have another int then if we use this dereference operator before the name of this aptr then this will go ahead at this address 100 and dereference it and get what is the value stored at that, that address so first it will see that it's an int pointer so it will start reading the value starting from address 100 101 102 and 103 so it will see what is the value stored in these four bytes and it will return that value and now C will contain this value 10. So we can even do this for multiple level pointers like in the last video we saw a pointer to a pointer. So this is pointing to this pointer and this is in turn pointing to this. So this will store the address 300. So once we dereference it now this value will become 100 because it will go ahead and see the value stored at this and once again if we dereference it it will go to address 100 and dereference the value and it will fetch 10 so now let's see a code so this is the same code and numptr is storing the address of num and this int star star numptr ptr is storing the address of this int pointer so if we print num it will print 10 if we print num ptr it will print some address let's say 100 if we dereference this num ptr then it will fetch the value 10 the value stored at this address 100 and if we dereference this num ptr ptr then it will print this same address 0x 100 and if we double dereference it it will again go here and dereference the value and it will fetch 10 so let's see this in xcode so here i have written down the example so let's go ahead and run it. So we see that first we got num equal to 10 and when we dereference this num ptr we again get 10 but but num ptr is just holding address so if we print num ptr it will print one address because this is a pointer and it's holding a value which is an address of this num and when we dereference it we get back the num the value stored there and this is the pointer to num ptr so when we dereference it it will give the, this same value and when we double dereference it double dereferencing this num ptr ptr is equivalent to referencing dereferencing this num ptr so here also we get 10 so i hope you got the point of how dereferencing is done so that's all for this video and see you in the next video. Thank you.